Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us for the third and final part of our Digital Transformation webinar series. In the first two parts of the series, we discussed claims processing and new business and underwriting automation. Today, we're going to discuss data analytics and the importance that it's playing in the insurance world today. Before we get started, I want to do a brief introduction and touch on some interaction options that we have today. Um, my name is Emma Roloff. I'm an account executive here at Navient. Everybody on the line is muted because the presentation is being recorded, but please feel free to type any questions or comments that you have into the chat box, and I'll be sure to address them along the way. Um, I'd also like to encourage any of you that were unable to attend the first two parts of the webinar series to watch the recordings of those uh, presentations. Again, they were on claims and new business processing, and they're available on Navient's website at Navient.com and on our YouTube channel as well. And with that, I'd like to dive right in with a quick review of our agenda and get started. Um, so today we're going to take some time and discuss um, the importance of a performance-driven culture and how data is driving that within the insurance industry. Then we're going to look at ways that organizations can begin to unlock new insights with their business using reporting and data analytics and finish our time together focusing on the idea of decision competency and the role that it plays in a successful digital transformation. So let's get started by talking about some of the trends within the insurance industry that are making performance monitoring a key component to success. So there is no shortage of discussions surrounding millennials in the workplace, but within the insurance industry specifically, the conversation is slightly different. There is a major talent gap that's emerging within the insurance industry, and it's becoming more important now than ever for insurers to figure out how to recruit and retain and motivate millennials. And hopefully this isn't anything new to any of you folks, um, but up on the screen, there's a variety of different facts about the millennial generation. And while we're not going to focus specifically on how to recruit the millennials during this presentation, there are three important pieces of content up on the screen right now that I'd like to discuss and how they relate to this idea of a performance driven culture. So the first of which is that the millennial generation, myself included, grow, grew up alongside technology. Everything that we do is mediated using technology in some way. Starting back in grade school, companies like Apple were supplying our schools with state-of-the-art technology to get our generation invested in their products and comfortable with engaging with di the digital world in a way different than any generation before us. We interacted with our peers at a young age using text and instant messengers, and we were the first people to use the beginning of social media. Companies like Amazon, Netflix, and Google have created a culture of instant streaming and two-day shipping that makes anything slower than instant really seem kind of archaic to us. So this constant access to information and interaction with technology is an expectation in the workplace, not a perk for our generation. And for the insurance industry, this can present a challenge. The vast majority of insurance companies are using some technologies that are decades old, and many of them are relying on them to provide mission critical business functionality. Failing to give up legacy systems is kind of a twofold problem because it's estimated that 25% of insurance professionals are going to retire by 2018. With the, without the staff necessary to maintain legacy systems, which have been possibly modified by multiple people and maybe don't have the best documentation, simple maintenance and adjustments are going to become a major challenge. And with an estimated 40,000 employees retiring in the next few years, the insurance industry needs to begin to embrace a more flexible nature and show their policyholders and potential employees that they're adapting to the world the way it is now. It's the it, now is the time to start using new tools and a different mindset to offset the impact that this transaction or this transition in the workforce could potentially have. 
the last piece I want to touch on with the millennials is this idea of um, being achievement oriented. Oftentimes, this generation is referred to as the one that got a trophy for everything. And I'm not going to argue with that. Millennials are very achievement oriented and focused on regular feedback. We like to know that we're being noticed and be rewarded for our accomplishments and have kind of a constant course correction with our supervisors. Um, and that's really important for us to know that good, bad, or indifferent, somebody is noticing our performance. The changes in culture kind of reach beyond just how we interact with our supervisors and the type of um, achievement that we feel there. But because of using technology, the world has become a global community. With this sense of community comes a longing to be a part of something bigger. And for millennials, that means stepping beyond our day-to-day -day tasks and really understanding the purpose and the mission behind our work. So if you held with me through all of that, you may be kind of scratching your head and wondering why I'm focusing on generational differences rather than data. But data is really the key to helping insurance companies combat this labor gap and manage their digital transformation more successfully. In recent years, there's been a dramatic acceleration in the pace of change within the insurance industry. Everywhere you turn, you hear about digital transformation, insure attack, big data, and analytics. And while big data is allowing insurers to model even larger and more complex data sets than ever before, data analytics can be used to establish a culture of autonomy, accountability, and performance that attracts and retains talent. Using new and flexible modular technology will allow insurance companies to not only update their processes, but to begin using data analytics to convert raw data into actionable insights. The OnBase platform gives insurers the tools that are needed to rapidly deploy solutions and help them manage a variety of different business critical processes. Once a process, it, a process and its associated documents and data are being held within OnBase or being leveraged through integrations with other line of business systems, OnBase's reporting tools can be used to identify patterns, analyze hidden trends, and isolate problem areas, allowing you to really unlock new insights within your organization. By combining multiple capabilities on a highly configurable and scalable platform, OnBase supports an unlimited number of solutions, from insurance that, from new business processing to underwriting, claims, policy services, and a variety of back office solutions. The OnBase solution offers a personalized interface to increase productivity and provide instant access to information. OnBase provides a single interface for all content and data and business processes, regardless of where it originates or what its format comes in as. OnBase holds documents and data in one repository and can integrate with other applications, such as a policy administration solution, to reduce the need to search across data sources and applications. OnBase shortens processing times and increases consistency and visibility. So kind of relating back to the beginning of the presentation, this is really important for insurers to kind of take notice of because OnBase allows insurers a low cost option to step into the digital world and begin um, increasing consistency, visibility, and efficiency. OnBase allows insurers to immediately realize the benefits of this modular platform and the ease of use of the interface and intuitive design will make it easy to train new employees and bridge that talent gap. Once information and processes are held in OnBase, then we can again begin to leverage those reporting dashboards more effectively to manage the process. OnBase's native reporting tool allows users a point and click configurable dashboard to analyze business data and system performance. Users get the freshest, most up-to-date business information that they need presented in a graphical format that's really easy to understand and analyze. Sometimes this can even be done without necessarily needing to engage IT resources, and it really can become a true self-service metric, metric and analytics tool. For those technical folks on the line, um, just a little bit of how the the plat or the reporting dashboards work. 
They aggregate valuable business information from on-base as well as third-party data sources for complete visibility and analysis. Dashboards are, again, point-and-click configurable to utilize raw data and display it in a variety of different ways. Users can view and interact with dashboards from the Unity client, which is um, OnBase's kind of flagship client, um, offering the ability to filter results and drill down and um, functionality to create exact views into data that they need to make their business decisions. The Unity client also allows um, users to interact with the content and the um, documents that are behind the data um, for more meaningful context behind the decisions that they're making. The dashboards, as you can see, are also available through the web client and even standard web browsers and mobile web browsers as well. Users are able to um, create print previews of the dashboards as well as export them to PDFs and PIN files if need be. Um, and then users can also export that information into Excel spreadsheets for further processing and evaluation. Um, some of our customers also take this, uh, these Excel spreadsheets and import them into other reporting tools um, so that they can have all of their analytics in one place. Reporting dashboards have a number of key benefits that are up on the screen, um, really focusing in on the idea of being able to make complex data easier to understand and provide a graphical view for business users. We're able to minimize the delay in decision making by presenting relative data in real time and promoting process improvements by highlighting trends and potential bottlenecks. And as I mentioned before, in some organizations, you can even reduce um, IT costs by allowing the business users to create their own views and process uh, and for process and performance uh, review. And this still can be done respecting database and security policies as well. So I want to kind of dive into some different examples of dashboards. Um, you're going to see a number of different clients here, including the Unity client, which I mentioned, um, both version 16 and version 17 of OnBase. So you'll see kind of the newest look and feel, as well as some dashboards in uh, the web client. Dashboards present data in a variety of graphical formats, including charts, graphs, scorecards, maps, gauges, and more. The ability to um, display this information in different ways can give us some insights into data by slicing and dicing it different ways. So for instance, a pie chart is best used um, when we're trying to compare parts to a whole, but it doesn't really show changes over time very well like the bar graph there on um, the left hand side. Users are able to access their dashboard gallery, like I mentioned earlier, through the Unity client as well as the web client, which is shown the most recent version here, version 17. Um, it allows users to create a more streamlined experience for their web-based dashboards rather than having to go out to a separate web-based viewer um, like previous versions of OnBase. You can see that the same graphical representation is available and the look and feel mimics much of what the Unity client has in version 17. From an IT perspective, system administrators can use reporting dashboards to give them immediate visibility into their system and business health and manage their on-base system more effectively um, by breaking down that complex data and reviewing it at a glance. One of the um, solutions that Navient offers our clients as well is a kind of predefined bundle of reporting dashboards that include a number of different reports that access the OnBase database and report back to the system administrator so that they can make decisions in terms of licensing and kind of troubleshoot where issues may be occurring if anything were to arise. Users can create and share their dashboards and kind of highlight their own most important data um, without necessarily having to engage with IT resources. Um, we do have a number of customers that have joined us for our annual summit, which I'll um, mention again at the end of the presentation, and um, sat in on a couple of hours of training, and that alone gave them the tools that they needed to then go back and begin working with their reporting dashboards um, within their own on-base system. 
uh, the person that I'm speaking of specifically uh, is a business analyst and kind of a manager within her business unit. And she is able to um, begin reporting on information without having to necessarily wait for IT resources. Because as we know, um, IT is incredibly busy and managing infrastructure and security. And sometimes when we're able to hand off parts of the process to the business unit, that alleviates that stress and keeps processes moving more effectively. Or depending on your IT structure and the level of um, technical aptitude of your business users, you can certainly have your IT department configure reporting dashboards and um, give uh, and share that information with the folks in the organization that are necessary to have access to those. And whenever we're talking about data, it's important to mention the idea of security and protection of that data. With what seems like a new data breach in every, every single week, um, it's important for insurers to protect their documents and data. OnBase allows you to access documents and data only by the net necessary means and employees. You're able to protect that information and retain it only for the um, point where it's necessary and dispose of it in a timely manner. For more confidential reports and permissions can be put in place that protect that sensitive data and dashboards can be set up with the same granular security that's available across the entire OnBase platform so that you have confidence that your data that's held within the system is being protected. When using OnBase to manage processes, the increased visibility, in, <laughs> sorry, the increased visibility allows managers to reassign work, balance out queues, and escalate and prioritize work amongst their team. This allows them to really identify where issues may be arising and address them quickly. Reporting dashboards drive attention to potential bottlenecks so that managers can be proactive on their business decisions and promote this idea of continuous improvement. So for instance, looking at this dashboard up on the screen, I can see at a glance that Betty Jones has the highest claims error sum. And with that information, it may be my call to action as a manager to sit down with Betty and talk with her about ways that we can reduce those errors and identify um, ways to kind of improve her processing and performance. This feeds back directly to this idea that we talked about at the beginning of millennials really needing that regular feedback and um, a culture that's process driven. The ability to monitor processes in real time gives managers the opportunity to, to provide feedback in real time. So managers are really able to take a step away from the process and the paper and manage the people in your organization. Up on the screen, we have a quote from um, the VP of IT at Travel Guard talking about one of the biggest benefits of using OnBase is that their managers are now able to manage their people and not their paper. As I mentioned before, reporting dashboards allow users to display information in a variety of different ways, and this includes maps. In the most recent version of OnBase, users are able to open documents directly from the map that's held within reporting dashboards, um, and it allows them to analyze documents based on their location using OnBase's integration with Esri. So looking into a claim scenario for this, you could potentially have a map that displays the weather information of a storm and be able to pull up claims documents and drill down into specific claims based on that map showing the effect of the storm area and really understanding how that relates to the geography of the storm. Just a couple more um, examples for you as well um, of those maps and how we can drill down information into information. And on base, the reporting dashboards are all um, responsive. And so we can drill down into the information by simply clicking on things and enlarging maps and digging deeper into the data. Um, a tabbed interface allows you to navigate through multiple dashboards. So you can see here I have a, a tabbed interface open and I'm able to move back and forth between those dashboards easily without having to regenerate that information. Um, and you can also see again, diving into the specifics of a, um, a dashboard and really going ahead and looking at what documents make up um, 
those pie charts as well as kind of the details of those. Users are also able to um, share their information with other users within the organization. So if I create a dashboard that I feel another claims manager would find useful, I can then share that information um, and also lock down what capabilities they have within the dashboard. Um, you can see again, drilling down into that information and changing it based off of the time um, in there. So you can see the gauge in the middle there or the timeline in the middle, I can adjust that and the data um, shows the variety from just that that interaction. To me, the most advantageous component of the reporting dashboards are the ability to minimize delays in decision making. And I talked a little bit about this when we discussed kind of the workflow management and monitoring. But with real-time reporting, employees are really empowered to monitor business performance and analyze those trends in real time. This self-awareness and transparency that re reporting dashboards provides organizations is really the key to what we call decision competency. Insurers need to move quickly and comp uh, to compete with digital disruptions and just kind of the insurance industry as a whole is changing and evolving with technology and customer needs. That means being able to let go of slow decision-making processes and outdated ways of working by leveraging data. And insurance companies can really use that data to adapt a new, to a new culture and talent base that's much more comfortable with experimentation and learning. Leveraging this data will help propel companies to really new heights and being able to manage their processes much more effectively. The CEO of Guidewire points to this idea of decision competency as an essential at, um, attribute of successful transformation. He really defines this as the ability of organizations to make a high volume of complex decisions, kind of working around uncertainty and risk and complexity to, um, to make those decisions quickly and appropriately that are well, well informed. And beyond just having a CEO or senior management that's able to make these decisions quickly, it's really pulling that level of autonomy and knowledge to the entire organization so that decisions can be made at appropriate levels across the entire enterprise. Um, this com competency allows organizations to drive projects forward without having to continually appeal to authority or converse with large groups of people. And the CEO of Guidewire really says that this is the what makes businesses most successful when they're tackling a um, transformation in the digital world. He's seen that organizations that focus on decision making and this culture of competency are by large the ones that succeed with their transitions most effectively. Um, just a specific example of one of Navient's clients is Guaranteed Trust Life, and they're really using this, trans this idea of transparency, data, and reporting to change the culture of their organization. They use metrics collected from multiple data sources, including OnBase, to create dashboards that reflect their company's performance. So taking a step back at a higher level, they have um, kind of five key goals that are linked directly to their mission. And this dashboard that's available to each and every employee on demand gives them insights into how the organization is um, accomplishing those goals and allows them to feel the day-to-day -day tasks that they're doing um, have a larger meaning. And again, they're able to share in that vision with their organization. Using reporting dashboards and data analytics can really reshape that culture and allow you to avoid the dangers of kind of a strategic lock-in of outdated thinking and move beyond that to update processes um, and shift the culture to a successful digital transformation. As we round out the series, I just wanna to touch on a couple of key components to that idea of a successful digital transformation. So the first step is really establishing a well-articulated strategy that has a long-term vision to overhaul operations and really generate new sources of value. The next step is to capture that value um, of the strategy by 
building a mechanism to execute and improve processes through digitization. And a major component of this and kind of the key to that is data analytics. You can't improve what you don't measure. And using tools like reporting dashboards within OnBase allows you to measure your performance and um, proactively begin to improve it. And the final stage, as I just mentioned, kind of talking through um, that that decision competency idea is that an organization needs to have a culture focused around transformation that looks at um, encouraging experimentation, collaboration, and kind of a digital first mindset to be able to be successful in this trans transformation. But I do want to say that you're not alone in this um, most insurance companies are going through this transition and looking at ways that they can change the way that they do business, and Navian is here to help. Our consultants have decades of experience in the insurance industry, um, both PNC and life, as well as health, um, and can really begin to articulate that strategy with your team side by side so that you can really begin to capture the value um, needed to bring your organization to the next level of operations. I mentioned earlier our, our Navient Summit that's coming up in October on um, the 16th and 17th in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, I'd like to invite all of you to join us for that summit. It's a complimentary event for all of our attendees, and it's a really great opportunity for you to learn more about um, this idea of digital transformation and trends within the insurance industry. We have a specific breakfast dedicated to that topic. Um, as well as to learn more about the OnBase platform, um, reporting dashboards, and kind of Navient as, as a whole. And we also, because of our Vegas and casino theme, um, we have a Texas Hold'em Texas hold tournament that's going to round out our time together on the first night. So with that, I want to open it up for any questions that there may be. I will stay on the line and address any of those. But otherwise, I want to thank everybody for joining us. And please feel free to um, reach out to me directly with any questions that you may have um, or reach out to your account executive as well. It doesn't look like I've got any questions right now. So again, please feel free to note my phone number and email address there and reach out with anything that may pop up um, in your mind in coming days. And otherwise, thank you again for joining us and have a great day.